a fatal shooting at a Forest Park Metro station. We've got the latest updates from police and firsthand accounts from witnesses. Out with the northern lights in with the rain. I'm going over your forecast for the next 24 hours. A car chase through North County ending in police custody. What we're learning about the four suspects who allegedly opened fire on officers. Today in St. Louis, Weekend Edition starts right now. This is Today in St. Louis, focused on you. All right, wake up, wake up, St. Louis. Right now you're getting a live look at the Gateway Arch downtown. Now that is how you open up Mother's Day. <laughs> that is pretty, isn't I'm it? I'm sure all of our mothers will appreciate that view. Good morning to you. It is Sunday, May 12th. I'm Travis Cummings. Thanks so much for waking up with us. And I'm Tracy Henson. Mercedes McKay has the morning off. Yeah. Yeah, but a beautiful start to our Mother's Absolutely Day. Absolutely beautiful start. And nice and crisp it. out there, yeah. too, which is pretty pleasant. Uh, I even had to turn the heat on in the car on my drive into work. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> that really is a Not side the of the season, really. Huh? I know. I got to keep don't switching, like... the, you know, keep turning the dials. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, we have our air conditioning at home set on heat and air conditioning, that kind of middle setting. I call it the spring setting. Uh, right now, 60 degrees. It feels like 60. We have a few clouds out there. Winds are out of the southwest at just under uh, five miles an hour, so fairly light today. It is going to be a gorgeous day out there for our Mother's Day and mother figures, maybe plant moms, dog, cat moms, all of the moms out there. Temperatures will land in the low, the low 80s, so a very comfortable day out there. We will see more uh, cloud cover as the day progresses here because as we go into the night, we are going to bring in a few showers and a couple of isolated storms. So do enjoy this very nice weather while it lasts because it is not going to be that way throughout the rest of the week. Spot showers today, so we don't have a chance of seeing the northern lights again tonight. But if we did, it wouldn't matter because we'd be cloudy. 62 degrees, winds are out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Our sunset is at 8.05. Coming up, I'll outline those showers and the storm risk that goes with them. Tracy, thank you for that first look. Developing this morning, a Forest Park Metrolink station is up and running again after a deadly shooting. It happened at this station on DeBoliver Avenue there. Our Annie Crawl was on the scene just 30 minutes after it happened, and she brings us reactions from witnesses. Trains coming to a halt Saturday because of a homicide. St. Louis Metro Police are investigating a shooting Saturday that left one woman dead at this Forest Park Metrolink station after being shot in the head. Metrolink train travel also stopped at the Central West End, Delmar Loop and Skinker Station, leaving dozens of people stuck trying to get home or to work even during the weekend, though tracks reopened around 6 o'clock. People walking past who live nearby say all the police lights and sirens is something they've had to get used to. It's kind of weird that we're so desensitized to it at this point because we're like walking down the street. We see the lights. We're just like, oh, it's just another day in St. Louis. Police tell us that at 3.30 in the afternoon, a woman in her 20s was found not conscious and not breathing. Originally transported to a local hospital in critical condition, she was pronounced dead there not long after. Metro Transit Public Safety released a statement Saturday saying they were saddened by the incident, adding that, quote, we are not immune to the plague of violent crimes which affect our region. Jay Mancera, who lives nearby and moved to the area about a year ago, couldn't agree more. Like before I moved here, I moved, I moved here from Texas. So I, before I moved here, I saw article after article about how St. Louis is like this crime central. And, and since I've moved here, that's been generally true. Any crawl five on your side. We're still waiting to learn more about the suspect as the homicide division continues this investigation. If you have more information, you can leave an anonymous tip by calling Crime Stoppers. That number is 866-371-TIPS. This morning, four people are in custody after a police chase in North County. Three of those arrested are juveniles. Police say it started around two yesterday morning when the suspect stole a car on Chambers Road. They then exchanged gunfire with police before fleeing on foot along Winkler Drive. Nobody was injured in that incident. This morning, a man now faces charges in a shooting that injured a two-year-old in North St. Louis County. Deshaun Harlan 
You see his picture there on the screen as accused of firing shots at a vehicle with a man, woman and child inside. It happened Thursday near Chambers Road and Lorna Drive. The two year old was shot in the calf and taken to the hospital. Police say Harlan had previously tried to rob the child's father after they agreed to exchange a firearm for marijuana.